Talk to me about this inclusion versus exclusion kind of um, thought here. That uh, You mentioned that in your TED Talk. Share, talk to us about that mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to kind of, I wanted to make the point that, you know, we do have, we have choices we can make. And one of those choices is understanding our own biases, because if we understand them, then we can choose different behaviors. We don't have to act like just robots and go along with these automatic judgments that we're making about people. We can actually be very intentional in the choices that we make. And so I talk about, you know, once you understand your bias, rather than it being a situation where you're deciding not to be befriend someone or not to collaborate with somebody, not to work with somebody, you can choose inclusion. You can rewire your brain to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to let this automatic response impact my relationship with this person. You can practice inclusion with people, right? And, And that's really the whole reason why I wanted to do the talk is that I've always felt like an outsider in my life because of what I've gone through. But that's also given me the ability to relate to other people who also Uh feel like outsiders. And and really, whether you feel like an outsider or not, the the bottom line is we all want the same thing. We want to connect with one another. And Mm. using that hat approach is one way that you can start to build meaningful relationships. But you have to make that choice. And the first thing is to commit to learning about your own biases.